Welcome, Welcome to, to CNS, CNS Lifestyle. Good morning, you guys. Sorry for this hot mess express, but uh, I just woke up. So, and I had some things to say. Uh, instead of waiting, why don't I just do it while I'm getting ready for the day? You know? I hope that everyone is having a good day. And I know that the last video that you watched um, was of a little bit of everything. Like, <laughs> we go places. Um, like, we try to explore new places and show you guys little gems that we find. So, Caitlin was talking about how she is transitioning with her medication. Uh, like, from you know, a very high dosage. And now her doctor has her on a very low dosage just to start off um, with a new brand, which sucks for her. Um, I feel bad, but at the same time, you know, she just has to go through with it and eventually she'll be back to where she was. How do I deal with it? It is... <sighs> It's interesting. So I have a few friends who are either dating or married to someone who has similar uh, things that are going on with Caitlin, like bipolar, depression, you know, both of those together. That's huge. You know, them by themselves are huge. Can't even imagine what everyone else is going through as far as like dealing with their partner that have both, okay? So how I deal with it. I honestly have learned how to not take it personal. If you take everything personally, it's not gonna work. You're gonna give up, they're gonna be fine. Like being with someone who is bipolar, one minute they are literally the happiest little soul the next minute, they will chew your fucking head off, okay? Like, I mean, it's not fair in the moment, but I've learned how to tune that out, not get mad, and just tell myself, wow, okay, let me just walk away for a minute. She'll be okay in like five minutes. And just like that, five minutes later, She'll say, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was acting that way. Sometimes she doesn't even realize that she's been acting that way. I'm making my coffee. It's just, it's very, it's very black and white sometimes. It's not really expected, um, especially when she is trying to, her, her body is trying to adjust to the new medication. I mean, We've been together for seven years, okay? So you're never gonna actually get used to one thing. And what I mean by that is, if your partner is giving you an attitude out of the blue, when you guys just had the best day of your lives, you won't get used to that all of a sudden. You're gonna get frustrated. Um, you're going to be like, wow, like, what did I do? It has nothing to do with you. Okay. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. <sighs> Just know that you are doing your part by still being a part of their day. Okay. Some days are harder than others, but honestly, I'm so used to it. And I'm not saying that she's just horrible all the time, you know, um, but she does have her moments where it gets on my nerves. And I'm just like, you know what? Let me go do what I love for a moment. Let me take a step back. Remember who we are and who I am. And know that this is only temporary. This this uh, adjustment right now. Because when she's good, she's good. Okay? And I have a friend who is on medication as well. Um, I have a few friends that are either bipolar or depressed or both. And dealing with them as friends, 
Sometimes that's not easy either, but I needed that. Sometimes, honestly, being with Caitlin for seven years um, has taught me because she's such a good person deep down inside. Truly is. And if she ever comes off um, as a bitch one day, she don't mean it. She does not mean it at all. Don't take it personal. You kind of just have to over your head. Same with any friends that have that condition. I just have to look at them and be like, wow, you're being a bitch right now. But that's not that's not really you. So I'm going to look past it. And that's how you have to kind of deal with it. You just, and if you want them to do anything um, as far as like cleaning, like just be straight up, tell them, hey, listen, before I get home, I need this done. Just this one thing. And as long as you do that one thing, we're good. If you don't, we're going to have a talk. And a lot of people ask me if I ever get upset, just in general, not not uh, having anything to do with uh, Caitlyn, but just in general. It's easy for her to get me upset. So I think that is why she like completes anything that I ask of her. And it's not much, you know, but for anybody else, it takes a while to get me upset or to that level. But if you get me to that level, I'm I'm very blunt. And I mean, I have a lot of patience, which I think is why I'm able to look past a lot of the attitude, uh, the moodiness, you know, the, the, the switches of from happy to mad to sad to happy again. I mean, it's crazy. It's like watching a movie in, in just one person, you know? And they're just happy and you're just like, okay, all right. That's what we're going to do? Okay. That's what we're going to do. So... I think patience also, like I said, is very in important. Um, I'm very patient. Like, I can't stress it enough. I am so patient. Um, but she does know when my limits are, are tested. And um, she doesn't want to get past those limits. <laughs> this is the best way that I could say it. Um, which is why in the previous video, she said if she doesn't do something that I've asked her to do before I get home or anything like that, she knows that, I mean, I'm not always disappointed. And I don't always go off on her. Sometimes it's necessary, okay? You you just got to let them know that this isn't okay. You have to put your emotions to the side for two seconds it's hard, but let's look past it. Do what you got to do. And then you can sit right back down and, and try to go through the motions. You know, like... That's all I can say. For me personally, I've been working a lot lately. And I... We'll be taking time for myself, which like every three weeks, I literally get my nails done and my toes done. That's also how I look past certain situations with Caitlin, because I can't just be mad every day, you know? Like, it's not her fault that she has bipolar depression. This is not a choice, you guys. Some people think that this is a choice. And it's not. It's very hard to deal with. And me not having bipolar and depression, it's very hard to watch her go through it. I suffer from anxiety. And I thank God that I have not had an anxiety attack. Knock on wood. 
in over a year because my anxiety attacks are horrible. They are horrible, okay? And sometimes they could compare to what she's going through, but she's just going through the cycle all the time where I go through it every now and then. But I'm also on medication to help me with that. And I mean, one of us has, you know, we both have to be strong for each other. So like when I go down the spiral, she notices when she goes down the spiral, I notice and I think it's very important to acknowledge and let your partner know, your friend know, whoever's going through it, that it's going to be okay. This is hard right now. Let's talk about it. If you don't want to talk about that, I respect it too. But at the end, we're going to be okay. We're going to get through this together. What I do for me, if I feel an anxiety attack coming on, because I have my heart flutters, um, and that's, that's a, a warning that I am very stressed out. Um, I sing, you know, that's, that's the best outlet for me is to sing, to put videos together like this, um, to just be creative, use my creative side. Uh, that makes me feel better. So for anyone who's going through this, do what you love when you feel that coming on, if you can because I understand you can't always catch it on time. So yeah, that is how I deal with it. And we've been together for seven years, married for two, and we're only gonna get stronger. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Till next time, guys.